What's up guys and welcome to another video from Code Review IO. I got inspired uh, by the banking apps that they use the face ID in case of uh, when you launching the app it will be prompt the user to use the face ID or touch ID to enter the app. I like the, uh, the idea and started to create it. So in this video more details about how to use the face ID starting from the launching the app and it will be saved in the uh, storage of the app. So we are going first to install some packages. The first package we need is called local auth. The local auth that we need that we can handle the biometric authentication with it. The second one is the Flutter secure storage is the one that we need to use to uh, to save and the, the storage of the device. And this is the best one uh, regarding the storage. And then we have the passcode screen and the passcode screen needs to be uh, in case of the, the user forgets the password and we need to show the passcode screen. So we start first by uh, including all the imports statements that we need to in this authentication surface. And this is all what we need and then we will, make a, a, we will create a class authentication surface and we make some instances. First, we instantiate the local authentication and we make it globally available by the static. And then we create the storage and that's also uh, an instance that to create to be accessed to the Flutter secure storage. Then we make some st uh, stream controllers and this needs to be a boolean. And in this case, we just need to uh, follow uh, the user and to have the latest status of the authentication. And don't forget that we make this broadcast, so we need to make sure that they are can be subscribed from any uh, from any uh, any place. Then we make a getters and setters, and th in this case we will put the uh, the getter for uh, these streamers for these streams, and we will also uh, get the streams also. So this is the the controller uh, getters, and this is the stream getter. Then we'll make uh, some uh, methods here to uh, handle the uh, to handle the storage. One what we called is the read uh, the read uh, from the storage. We pass the key and this is try to read the, uh, the key from the storage. And then we will check if the key is valid and then we return it. Otherwise we return an uh, empty string. Then we uh, we have another method called clear storage and that's it's simply what it is. It's just will clear everything regarding the storage and also we have the write and this is when we send the key and the value and we try to uh, write to the storage the other method is will be used is verify code and this is where we uh, can check if the pin code that we send is the same as what is already saved so as the name is implies then we can get the pin code from this and return and we check if the if this one is the same and we subscribe to we add this value to the stream controllers in case of this is not then we try to write this as a new pin code and we try also to notify the controller about it now now the last method we need to use is that we need to make sure that all the controllers to be closed then in the end we need to make sure some authentication service uh, instances needs to be available uh, globally so we can use it uh, everywhere so we don't need to create a new one every in, in every class going ahead to the main dart and we start also uh, to put any implementation here and regarding the app state and when the app is is launching so first we will uh, create a boolean and we check if this a new user in the init states we will make uh, get user status and this function that can be uh, um, called inside the init in the uh, uh, in the beginning in the beginning when the app is launching and this method is actually is in a sync method, a synchronous or future method that will call the authentication surface to read the pin code is there. 
The idea of this is to make sure that if the user is exist, then we need to uh, navigate, uh, we need to switch between navigation. So regarding this, we will go to, to check if the value is empty, then we check the, we set a state as the value is false. So they, uh, this is not a new user. And we make sure that we are uh, adding the value to the controller. In the widget where we are going to build as a home, we will put a future builder with a string. And we will put uh, the future as authentication surface when we try to read, to read the pin. If you remember, we put the read as it will return a string. So here in the builder, we will check if the snapshot, um, if the connection state is um, type of waiting, so we will return a circular progress indicator. Otherwise, if the snapshot has data and it's not empty, because in the read, uh, in case of the value is not read it, we return an, um, an empty string. So that's why we check here, if it's not empty, then we will go to the passcode page. Otherwise, we will go to the register page. In the end, we will make some routes and this is needed to navigate between another screens. So we will create an, uh, another screen called passcode screen and in this or passcode page. In this page, we will go to the build and we will start returning the First, we will try to use the future builder with a uh, boolean and here we will use the local auth with can check biometrics. This method is already exist in the uh, is a getter is already exist inside the local auth and we can rely on this to check if the snapshot has data then then we can authenticate otherwise we will uh, and also we will return the gradient wrapper uh, underneath it that we will show underneath the the authentication uh, otherwise we will return the passcode page and this passcode page needs some uh, um, some instances or some uh, variables that need to be passed like the callback and is verification these are streams that needed in the passcode package so we will use uh, this is actually is my widget but it uses underneath um, um, behind the scenes is the passcode uh, passcode page so we will go uh, up and then we'll create some uh, methods. So the authenticate that we need to use as asynchronous and then we will check the local auth and we try to authenticate. Here we put the localized reason and that's mandatory to put and also the sticky auth uh, as a true. This is in case of the app goes uh, background foreground and then you can check uh, and the, the authentication will be there and use error dialogs this is uh, mostly for debugging if you i wouldn't recommend this for the production and then we we'll go for the auth service and we will add the value to the controller to be uh, to be tracked by the controller and then we check if the authentication is exist or if this is true this is will return from the local auth then we will try to push um, uh, a navigation without going back to go to the home page. Now go to the another method is on cancel and that's gonna be easy but, but uh, by just saying um, going to the home page and then we'll go to the on callback and this is will go and to verify the enter code that will uh, will be passed uh, and then it will uh, listen to the it will to the listen to the uh, is verification because is verification is a stream will create it shortly and it will check if this is valid then we'll try to go to the home page and the init state we try to put the enabled streams and we try to instantiate instantiate the authentication and the is verification stream that will be uh, created from the uh, in the top so this is uh, here if you want to put um, and any attempts then you can instantiate it with a zero and then you can uh, use it as here as an else statement in my case i don't use it now we are going to the register page so we said in the beginning that we in the case in the case of the user is a new uh, then we try to go to the register or try to go to the passcode page now to build this uh, page we need some uh, things to do first 
uh, I will create a class. This is where we have the screen arguments and one of them is the email. That's because that sometimes I need to pass the email to the home page, then we can show it on the home page. And then uh, we go to the uh, register. In this case, uh, in, in this case, we will try to build uh, the column and then we use the sized uh, box with a container and which uh, we put uh, some widgets here. So I'm not going to go in details uh, about this. It's uh, more about building the UI. There is no that much logic here. So mostly the, what we need to do is be creating two fields with uh, uh, the same, uh, almost with the same um, properties that we need to pass. And then we can use the on change to change the email that will be in the top of the class where we put the state and they change the email to the this value. That will be the same as I said for the password. The only uh, difference is that we need to have uh, obscure text that we don't need to show the uh, the text for uh, for the input. And then, and then we will have a floating button when we will check if it's valid, then we will try to go and check uh, the um, has bio this is uh this is when we try to build try to build if has bio authentication then we go to the uh in which screen that we need to find and navigate so this is we'll try to uh, to check uh, the device is supported the bio uh, biometric uh, authentication if it's supported then it will go to the onboarding if it's not supported it will go directly to the home page and the user will be um, simply signing and uh, will be uh, he will be a login always with uh, by email and password and he will use the login page now to create uh, our is valid uh, and also the has a uh, bio authentication will go up and then we try to put some uh, instances email and password for the input fields to track the user inputs and then we'll go for the uh, valid in this case what we will do is that you make a getter and check the email and this is a small validation also we check if has bio authentication and that will check if they can check biometrics this will return a boolean a uh, future boolean as we said, and it will say uh, if the device is supported biometric or not. And in this case, we have our screen and this uh, will navigate to the onboarding in case of the in case of the, the device is supported the biometric authentication. And let's go and build the onboarding. In the onboarding, we tried first we by creating some instances here and we called as enabled fingerprint. And then we we'll create some uh, also method that will check uh, uh, that will check the email argument that passed by the navigation, and so so we create the dynamic model route and then we try to get the arguments as a screen uh, arguments uh, the class that we created before, and then we check the email and then we check also it, this is in case of formatting if you want to format the email because for now we use just the email we don't have the first name so we can. Um, you get the first name uh, from or maybe it depends to the email to get the first name or the last name from for uh, from the email so this is in case of the uh, um, this is in case of you want to make sure that the email is passed or not and also uh, uh, formatting the email to be as a first name or last name and then in the in the end we will have the email returned and we will create another method called show biometric uh, show biometric and this is will uh, make sure that uh, when you click on it it will show the biometric and then another uh, another one is that we will have a switch label this is will make sure that also if you are in ios there is a face id or touch id um, this is not needed. This is just an extra in the case, in the case of you want to make uh, differences in the uh, in the text. Now we're going to build the widgets. Uh, first, we will get the height of the screen, and then uh, we try to build the widget by the padding and and here and we will create also the switch list tile. So this is what we will create: is that uh, a switch. Uh, item then we when we uh, change the status of the switch item it will uh, it will make sure that you are uh, enabled the, the biometric authentication and in this case you have something uh, I mean 
for the user maybe you need to show something like uh, you could enable it also in the settings or disable it in the settings when the user will be uh, when the user will be prompting with the importing also you can put a text here as a button also and to skip this uh, process part of importing is that when we uh, enabled the face id or the touch id here in the importing screen when we click on continue we need to show the user that he needs to put the passcode in case of he if, if he forgot or uh, if he forgot or the uh, the the face id doesn't work then we can prompt the user to the passcode again to put the entry passcode so we try to uh, in the in this page we will put the verification controller and we will make some methods and the callback we will use the same as uh, almost in the register when we have two um, two uh, two methods uh, regarding the on callback and on cancel. So on the on the callback that we will try to verify the code that entered by the user, which is the one that now, and then we check uh, the and when then we check if this enabled in the stream and we listen to the, to, the, to the stream so if this one is enabled then we will go to the home otherwise we uh, do nothing for in this case and the cancel we don't do anything because we don't want the user to be prompted to any message or anything we just need to block the user from this screen to uh, from this screen to go forward in the uh, in the init state we try to um, instantiate the verification controller and by the way this verification controller can be also moved to the uh, auth surface instead of using it here and that uh, dispose we can close this verification controller in the build we try to put uh, the widget the passcode widget again and then uh, it's the same we will uh, pause the stream from the verification controller and then the callback with the cancel and this is also the point is that we need to use the passcode widget so if we go to the widgets and then we go to the passcode there is nothing uh, that much here it's more about the using how to use the package so this is a uh, passcode screen will come from the passcode screen that we have installed the package and we have some um, uh, uh, let's say parameters that we need to pass one of the show to trigger the ver verification and that will be passed as a params that we have discussed the title you can put any title here you want password entered callback and this is the callback that what you want to do with the uh, when you uh, when you have the password entered and then you can pass the others like the stream and the pass callback and the console callback to to this fun, uh, to this widget and then uh, this widget can be used multiple times in the home page we don't have any uh, specific or any logic as you can see we have just the home screen and we have the button so we create this and we start by the putting the center and the column to put the home screen in the center of the screen to put the home uh, screen text in the center and then we will try put the floating action the idea for me is that sometimes when i trying to debug the, this I, I made this uh, button to be the clear of, of the storage and also put some snack bar that will be down that you are clear the storage so in this case if you click here you will have storage has been cleared so this is the just an easy way for me but you would put something uh, to clear the storage in the settings maybe in the end i want to thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next time